Do you have some friends that would like to play Tale of Spire but aren't completely convinced that this is the tool for them? Do you want to give them a little bit of uh, the Tale Spire feel without having to commit uh, them to buying it? Well, then this plugin is for you. It is the Tailspire remote control plugin. Uh, what this allows you to do is it allows the GM to use a streaming um, uh, platform like OBS Studio or there's plenty of others to stream the action. And then the players can subscribe to that, that stream so they can see what is going on in Tailspire and using the Tailspire remote control, they can actually move about their menus. At the moment, the Tailspire remote control is very, very simple. All it does is allow you to move the mini. Um, there is currently no support for moving the camera or doing any other interactions, but that could be coming in the future. So <clears throat> let me demonstrate. Um, here I have uh, Tailspire running. I've got two uh, characters here. I've got Cork and Pork. Um, and again, I'm showing here the actual Tailspire screen, but if you were doing this for your players who don't have Tailspire, uh, you would then just stream this uh, view um, to your players using something like OBS Studio and uh, um, Twitch or something like that. Um, in order to do that without affecting the uh, GM session, I highly recommend looking at the Stream Views plugin that I released a few days ago, which allows uh, a GM to have his or her uh, own session going and have a second session that is can be used for um, streaming views to your players. So anyways, here we go. Um, if I bring up the application, it looks very, very simple right now. Um, right now, I'm just using a local host, 127.0.0.1. Obviously, if you were doing this with uh, remote players, then uh, you would provide them the IP address of your um, computer. Uh, yes, you will have to set up the computer so that it can um, accept remote connections. If your firewall is, is uh, ca uh, cutting everything off, then obviously this, this won't work. So you'll have to open up um, your firewall for whatever port you decide to use. Uh, this is the default port here, but of course you can um, modify that to whatever <coughs> port um, uh, you want. Um, that will be a configuration in the corresponding Tailspire um, plugin. And the idea is that you can then um, select the name. So I'm going to go with uh, pork. And then you've got your simple um, controllers for up, down, left, right. Um, this is not reflecting facing. It is, um, this will always be in the, whatever the up direction is. This will always be in the down direction, uh, regardless of how you turn the camera. So it is recommended to keep the view um, you know, aligned. Don't rotate the view, because if you do, then of course up, down will start to have different meetings. So here we go. Up, the, do, do, running around. And if I switch this to cork, I can run around with a different character. Um, again, at this point, uh, this is sort of the very uh, initial release of this. So there is no protection against uh, players grabbing other players' minis and moving them around. Um, potentially, um, well, uh, protection for that will be uh, added at a later point. But right now, this is just the very bare bones, but it is usable. That's about it.